Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. We are back with to our PBNJ. The last ingredient you need to make PBNJ. Anything else? We can now make a PBNJ. We close the cabinet and look back to the rest of the kitchen. Close with this. Second door, you know. By the state of this horrendous kitchen, you have successfully combined your three ingredients to make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Congratulations, you unlocked a new achievement, new trophy, platinum trophy. You made yourself a place sandwich. You can feed yourself. All of that hassle, and it took you less than a minute to eat. The rest of the day lies in front of you. Okay, uh, cabinets. Garden, let's look at the garden. That is actually not bad looking. Wings. This garden then was a reclaimed by the wilderness long ago. You don't think you want to go out there after all. Are you even up to date on your tetanus shots? Whatever that is. And the kitchen. Oh, I just noticed my hand. The bone kind of thing, ripped off hand. You close the door behind you and return to the kitchen. I'm done here. Yeah, congratulations. You've eaten half. Yeah. Room, investigate. Yeah, let's head into town. Not much left you to do here. Other than head out and explore the town, you just that. Settle my room. I was there to settle in. Jump in the bed, sleep, and it's okay. If you'd have known you'd wind up having to walk all the way back to town, you probably would have just asked Tabitha to leave you at the bus stop, especially with how unhappy she seems to see you. Why invite somebody that you don't really want to see? So cool, kind of mean. So nice. If only you could what you can wipe the slate between the two of you clean and bury some of the tension. So maybe her mother funeral mother's funeral isn't the best time for something like that. No. Then again, maybe it's a perfect time. Spin you down the path. It's really pretty out there. Yeah, somebody did a nice job drawing the whole thing. Wow, the whole place is almost closed. Finally, you made it back to town. The holler, as that guy on the bus called it, has probably seen better days. It is. It still has the feeling of an idyllic country town, but its sidewalks are cracked and many of the storefronts are boarded up. Their windows dusty with age. A chill breeze sweeps down the lane and you shudder, suddenly feeling as if you are getting to a grave. Hey, a pug! Look at... Oh! Oh, he's adorable. I haven't seen you around here before. Oh yeah, I'm a dude, am I not? The young woman is noticeably frustrated by your appearance. It's a phenomenon that you, as a heart, are all too familiar with. What about uh, Gretchen? She can be very slippery when she wants to be. Hope she didn't scare you. No, look at the dog. Look at the dog. Look at the dog. Look at the dog. A pug. So cute. Tell me more about this wonderful creature. I don't do too well with dogs. Well, I don't do personally too well with dogs, but no. Oh, 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 they are so nice. Is that supposed to be a dog? Oh, that's just... Okay, I'm going to introduce myself. Hi, I am a human being. And I'm Stellan. Pleasure to meet you. Not often I see stranger face up in hollow. Every now and then, there's a new crop of call folks. But you don't look dusty enough for that. You aren't in town for the funeral, are you? Scarlet funeral? Of... 
Where he had to go. Well, couldn't hold them all the way. I shouldn't have taken them. Yep. Maybe. Yep. I just got in town today. Wow, I didn't think there would be anyone else coming. You staying with Tabby? How's she holding up? I haven't seen her since Caroline passed. Or for a while before that. Now that I think about it. Sorry, did you say Tabby? Well, I need to explore that. Uh, I'm sorry, did I hear you right? I can't imagine Tabby ever going by something so bubbly. Get it back when I knew her better. It's been a while, I hope she's okay. I don't know where you should have taken this to She seems alright. Maybe it's not the best type of thing for me. I'm worried about her too. Is she always so... I don't know how doing and I don't care. That's just mean. Why do you care? She's always been a little rough around the edges, but I figure she'd probably be having a rough go of this of things. She and her mom were really close. Oh, bad. Mothman. I've seen some of this before. To think she is she's been in that old mansion all by herself. It will probably be good for her now and then. You are staying there even if he, if she doesn't think so herself. Thanks for letting me know, by the way. How long have you known? Have you known her? Are you two friends? She she's really not worth it. I don't. I can't say. That. I don't know her. You can't say that about people you don't know. How long have you known her? Ah, quite a long time. Sounds really small, so everybody knows everybody. Else, as far back as they can remember. Abby and I got a little closer when we were both in school. Production of a uh, Midsummer Night Dream. I was Puck and she was Mustard Seed. As you might have expected, she was more than a little prickly, but I managed to soften her up a bit in the end. But then she graduated, and that was that. Oh, if you just got to town, you must be starving. I was just on my way to the diner. For coffee and then and they have got amazing biscuit biscuit my treat follow her shame I couldn't wow so many people the pleasant aroma of grease oh my god look at this guy it's like dying this guy too gosh oh look at the bum the pleasant aroma of greasy breakfast food hangs heavy in the air in contrast with the empty, lifeless atmosphere of the family estate, the diner is filled with the comforting din of human life, all of which grinds to a sudden halt as the patrons realize that a stranger had entered the establishment. Hey everyone, I'm... What are you looking at? Good. Why this tied in the name? It's just in town for the funeral. Nice to meet you. The woman behind the counter beams back at you. Hello there and welcome to the holiday. You just let us know if you need anything, okay? Oh, that was actually a nice response. You're out politely giving a small wave as you tell a slide into the nearest booth. Looks like you all probably the Talk of town for a while. Okay, it's not often folks around here meet many strangers, and with who you are related to, well, folks love their gossip, you know. Hey, dude. Hey, Stella. I went ahead and fixed you a cup of coffee. They gracefully place a cup of specially brewed coffee in front of Stella. Are they flirting? They look like. Oh. Jacks. Thanks. Avery. Can I have some sugar? Oh, his name is Avery. Okay. 
already taken care of. I know you like your coffee drowned in cream and sugar. And here's some bacon for a little lady. Oh, Gretchen sniffs the bacon and digs in. <laughs> Anything for you, darling? Ooh. Offer them your boiled peanut. <laughs> Oh, they made a mistake! Isn't bacon bad for dogs? No thanks, I ate for the rest. How much is the coffee? Or a coffee, biscuit, biscuit or coffee? Can I have a biscuit or coffee, please? I heard they were really good. Best in the country. Cool. Avery pours the fragrant brew in the empty mug in front of you. They linger after pouring your coffee, turning to your you nervously. Oh, and I'm uh, I'm sorry for your loss. Thank you. Before you have the chance to respond, they're gone. Why they? If it's him. I don't know. Glad you took my advice with a biscuit. Don't regret it. Anyways, the funeral's not till Sunday, right? Yeah, you're right about that. It gives you quite a bit of time to slum around town. I'm trying to think if there are any cool events going on this week. Oh, I don't think so. There was the reading adventure at the library, which is supposed to be for little kids, but I do it every month anyway. Oh, and I'm pretty sure every throwing a party Saturday night, so that's fun. Thing to look forward to. And there's the weekly Sunday potluck. That should be right after the funeral too, so uh, it will be a special occasion. Not like a church thing? Cool. No, that really strikes. Um, can I say Adam's and cool? Been kind of nice. It's been really probably not gonna make me any friends, and I'm not gonna be able to go anywhere and not do anything. So, and everyone's gonna hate me. So, point. Sounds neat, maybe I'll check some of these things out. Anyway, those are all the big events I can think of. As for the day today, any idea how you want to kill time for the rest of the week? What's it to you? No clue. I'm sure I'll be able to occupy myself. I'll probably just do what I can to support. Yeah. I kind of assumed I'd be spending my time trying to help Tabitha, but we now quickly, with how she quickly uh, run off today, I'm not sure that's enough for a full schedule. That's really sweet of you, but you're right, that will definitely still leave you with plenty of time to kill. Have you thought about exploring the local trails at all? I'm usually, I'm usually out there a few nights a week for my job. What do you do for your living then? And I'd be happy to show you around. Nice. Of course, I can finish every time with biscuit and tow. Hey, Winnie, wanted to give you a biscuit on a house. She sends her condolences. Thank you. Thanks, it looks great. Didn't have to do that. Do I look like a charity kitten? Thanks, Avery. It looks great. But the biscuit is delicate and fluffy. It nearly crumbles at your touch. Buttery warmth emanates from its surface. You don't even need to taste it to know that it is good. Divinity given buttery form. You take a bite, it melts in your mouth as if it was nothing but butter. Suspended in a thin matrix of dough. Oh gosh, now I'm, 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 I'm getting hungry. Truly, this is, a, this is a perfect biscuit. Wow. I've had better. Wow. Best biscuit I've ever had, but it's not. Yeah, I'm gonna go for wow. This is really good biscuit. Wow. I'm so glad you like it. Every is at the table for a moment. He's, he's happy. <laughs> he's freaking happy. And plus, everybody likes pleasantries.
So, as Stella mentioned, she's famous. Uh, oh, Avery, I'm not famous. Look, if you're not gonna go around tubing your own horn, you know I'm gonna do it for you. Stella size. I'm a YouTuber. Wait, what? I didn't, I didn't expect that. What kind of videos do you do? It's not a big deal, I mean, it pays the bills, but it's really just a passion project, you know? You're too modest, Stella. Your videos are really good. You should watch them sometime. They're like Discovery Channel, but with better research. I mean... <laughs> what did she do? Tell me more, I'm not really on those videos at all. Tell me more. Call me interesting. Tell me more. She hunts cryptids. Cry cryptids? I don't know what it means. I think the best video to start with would be the, the river one. Not the lake, but you know, the controversial one. Oh yeah, the Kata Oh, river runner. I didn't expect much out of that outing at the time, but it wound up being my most popular video by far. So, the river runner is a cryptid that's only known for a single sighting. Two boy scouts thought they saw something big and weird in the Katawa River. And that's all I had to go on. But then I wound up catching this on camera. Cool. Bill pulls out her phone and shows your your clip of something in a river. Some folks said it was beaver, but if that was a in if that's a case, I'd be at least twice the size of any beaver I've seen. Mutated beaver maybe? I also had people saying it was a dog or even a cat the Capybara, capybara. That must have came from local wildlife sanctuary. Maybe. Anyway, that's gonna be it for this video. Thank you for watching, and I'll be seeing you next time in another video. Don't do anything stupid. I'll beat you. Farewell. Bye bye.